Hello Skyhook Ninjas, Coach Abner here again with another Skyhook homeschool workout. Today we are going to be working our legs and our glutes. I'm going to take you through um, five exercises uh, of relatively easy difficulty. Once we're done with those five exercises, you can either restart the video and complete two to three more sets of that, or you can follow along with the second set of exercises, which are gonna be slightly uh, more challenging variations of the first exercises. At that point, once you complete that second one, you can either choose to go back to the first one and complete one more set, and then do a second set of the uh, second set of exercises I'll be showing you. Or you can just, again, stick to the first one and do three to four sets, or stick to the second one and do three to four sets. Either way, uh, you should be able to get a really, really good glute and leg workout with very little equipment. All we will need today is some open floor space. I went ahead and cleared out some room here in our, uh, our living room. And the one other thing you're going to need today is a sturdy chair, bench, or even a couch will do. Alrighty, if you guys are ready, let's get started with our warm-up. First thing we're going to do today is do some dynamic stretches for the hips and legs. Get everything nice and loose and ready for some movement. First thing we're going to do is 10 knee huggers on each side. Pull that knee up all the way to your chest. Hold tight for a quick second before switching over to the other side. 10 reps on each side. That's two. Three. This is also a good chance to work a little bit on your single leg balance. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Hug it as tight as you can to your chest. Nine. And ten. All right, next thing is going to be quad stretches. So in this one, I want to make sure I'm not doing this tilting forward or arching my back in order to pull the, the, uh, my heel closer to my butt. Instead, I'm gonna focus on keeping my core engaged, not letting my low back arch, keeping that knee directly underneath me and focusing on stretching your hip flexor. So right along the front of your thigh. Again, hold for a quick second and switch feet. 10 on each side. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, great work, everyone. Let's move into some ankle pulls. So now I'm gonna bring one leg up. I'm gonna grab right here, front of my leg with one hand. The other hand's gonna press down on the knee. So I'm pulling up on my heel or on my ankle, pushing down on the knee. When you're doing these, try to avoid grabbing the foot and doing this instead, all right? Again, right here on your shin bone. Pulling up on the foot, pushing down on the knee, 10 on each side, loosen up those hips, get them ready to do some work. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, And 10. Alrighty, now let's do a little bit of stretching for the hamstrings with some straight leg kicks. I'm gonna swing my leg back a little bit, like so, before I kick forward, and I'm gonna reach with my opposite hand and tap my toes. Alternating back and forth, one side to the other, kick that leg back back and then swing it up 
keeping it nice and straight. 10 reps on each side. Eight. Nine. And 10. All right, now that we've done some dynamic stretches, let's go ahead and get our blood pumping with some high knees in place, butt kickers in place, and jumping jacks. You're gonna do 25 high knees in place with each leg, so a total of 50. Same thing with your butt kickers, and then 50 jumping jacks. All right, follow along. Let's start with our high knees. 25 per leg, total of 50, and go. Two, three, four, 10, Twenty, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. 24, 25. All right, same thing with our butt kickers. One, two, three. Ten. Twenty. Twenty-three, twenty-four, and twenty-five. Great job, everybody. And now, 50 jumping jacks. Start at ninja attention. Arms go up as your legs go out. And then you reverse it. Two, three, four, five. 10, 11, 12. 20, 21, 22, 30, 31, 32, 40, 41, 42, 49 and 50. Excellent job, everybody. Woo! You should have a little bit of a higher heart rate than usual. You should be having a little bit of a hard time catching your breath. Ah, but hopefully not too bad. Hopefully not as bad as I am right now. All right, you guys. Now let's move on to our five exercises for the day. Like I said, the first five are going to be relatively easy variations. And then after that, we're gonna do another set where we do slightly more uh, challenging variations of each exercise. Whew. Deep breath. Whew. Let's get started with some body weight squats. You're gonna complete 12 to 15 reps focusing on good form. Start off with feet about hip width apart, toes pointed forward, not rotating my toes out or rotating them in. Toes point ahead. Knees are gonna point ahead as well. I'm not gonna allow my knees to go past my toes like this, which will also make my heels come up off the ground. So heels stay flat on the floor. Let's go 15 squats. 12 to 15. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Great job, you guys. All right, next we are moving into lunges. Good old lunges. So I'm gonna stand sideways so you guys can see. We're gonna take a big step forward, keep our chest up, so I'm not gonna lean forward as I squat down or as I lunge down, keep that chest up. You're gonna bring whatever leg you have behind you, that knee is gonna go straight down towards the floor. So don't think about leaning forward onto your forward leg. Think about bringing your back knee straight down towards the floor and up. Alrighty, lunges. Let's do 15 on each side here. 
step forward, drop that knee straight down, push back to where you started. Big step forward, drop, push. That's two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. And fifteen. Switch legs. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. And fifteen. All right, guys. Great job. That's two out of five exercises down. Let's move on to bench hip thrusts. Now, on this one, you can either go to the edge of a couch. If you have a workout bench, that would be ideal. Worst case scenario, all you have to work with is a chair. We're gonna bring that chair up against the wall so it doesn't slide back as you are going through your exercises. You're gonna sit. You're gonna bring the bottom of your shoulder blades, so your mid back, to the edge of the chair or bench. Alrighty, now from here, I'm gonna bring my feet wider than hip width apart, so I don't have them at the same width as my hips. I'm gonna step out wider, and I'm gonna rotate my toes out to 45 degrees. Apologies. Resuming, shoulder blades on the edge of the chair, legs wider than hip width apart, Toes rated out to 45 degrees and core engaged so that your entire torso, your back, moves as one solid unit. You don't wanna bend your spine, okay? So I'm gonna drop my hips down, keeping my back moving as one unit, and then I'm gonna squeeze my butt to bring the hips back up into a tabletop position, tightening my glutes as much as I possibly can before dropping my hips back down to the floor and going for our second rep, 15 repetitions. Three, four, five, six. Squeeze those glutes, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Excellent work, everybody. Now I'm gonna point the camera down just a tiny little bit. Next couple of exercises, we are gonna be performing from the floor. First is side laying hip abduction, abduction. So we're gonna start off by laying sideways on the floor or on a padded surface. From here, I'm gonna raise this leg straight up as high as it'll go. Keeping my toes pointed forward towards the camera. I'm not gonna allow my toes to point up towards the ceiling like this as I race, because that will take the focus away from your glute medius, which is what we wanna work. So you should feel the work up here, back um, on the top of your glute. All right, so from here, 15 reps. Controlling the leg as it comes down. We're not gonna let it slam. All right, three, four, Five, six, keep that leg as straight as you possibly can. Eight, nine, ten, toes pointing forward. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, 
14 and 15. All right, other side. Legs nice and straight, toes point forward as high as it'll go, keeping the focus on my glutes. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Excellent. Alrighty, and our last exercise for this first circuit is gonna be side laying hip adduction, a deduction. So while before we were raising the top leg, now whatever leg is on top, we're gonna bend and bring in front of us. Grab that leg so it's not constantly sliding away from you. And now we're working the inner thigh of the bottom leg. So from here, we're gonna raise that leg up as high as we can, keeping our toes pointed forward and our legs straight and slowly come back down. So don't let your leg just fall, all right? That defeats the purpose. Up, slowly come back down. Two, three, Raising it as high up as we possibly can every time. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Excellent. Let's go over to the other side. Same thing again. Grab that foot, straight leg, toes point forward, using our inner thigh to raise the leg. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. And 15. Alrighty, great work everybody. That is your first set. Now, like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, you can either restart it and follow along with that first set two to three more times to complete your three to four sets. Or you can give me a quick break so I can get some water. Whew, it's hot in here. And then you can continue along with me on the slightly more challenging uh, set of exercises that we are gonna be doing next. Grab yourself a quick sip of water. Rest for a quick minute. And let's get to it. Our second set of exercises. We're gonna start off with curtsy squats. You get to be fancy today. So instead of squatting straight down, we are going to step one leg behind and out onto the opposite side. So my right leg is gonna go behind my left and beyond it just a little bit. From there, keeping my left knee pointed forward and my right knee pointing out to the side. I'm gonna squat down, keeping my chest up, step out to the side, bring the other leg behind and squat. And you're gonna keep going from side to side. You're gonna complete 10 to 12 on each side. Let's call this four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Excellent work, everybody. Now, next up, in place of our lunges, we're going to work on Bulgarian split squats. Still 
a split leg movement, but actually places a lot more weight on one leg. So you're gonna go back to your chair and you're gonna place one foot on top. The idea here is to bear all of your weight or most of your weight on the leg that's down on the floor and then dropping straight down. You may find it more comfortable. Some of you may find it more comfortable to have your toes down on the table like this. Well, some of you may find it better to put the top of your foot down. Alrighty, now this leg over here that I'm standing on, I'm not gonna let the heel come up off the ground like that or the knees go past the toes, alrighty? So I'm gonna stand far enough away that I can drop straight down without my heel on my front leg coming up or my knee going past my toes. All right, 12 reps, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. Quite a little balance challenge as well. Bring the other foot up. Let's move on to Bulgarian split squats on our other leg. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Nicely done, everybody. Feeling a nice little quad burn? If not, you should by the next two rounds if you keep going, which you should. All right, guys. Next up, bench hip thrusts. Really the way to make this more challenging is to grab something relatively heavy that you may have around. You can start fairly light with like 10 pounds and then go up from there. You're gonna cradle it in your hands. I'm gonna use this as demonstration because I don't have a weight with me. I'm gonna cradle it. Come back to our position here. Shoulder blades at the edge. Legs wider than hip width apart. Toes rotated out to 45 degrees. And now I have my weight right at my hips so that I can drop down and squeeze my glutes as I come back up. Let's go for another 12 reps. Three, with more weight this time. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. All right. Excellent work, everybody. Two more exercises. We're almost done. Ha! Now, we did side laying hip abduction last time. Now, to make it a little bit more challenging, we are gonna do our hip abductions from a modified side plank. So, adopt a modified side plank position, which means your knee at the bottom or your leg at the bottom, the knee is bent. You get out of the sun there. I'm engaging my obliques to keep my hips up, not letting them sag down towards the floor, pushing into the ground through my shoulder. And from here, I'm gonna go ahead and do my 12 to 15 hip abductions. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, I'm gonna go for 15, 13, 14, and 15. All right, excellent. Other side, side plank, modified side plank position. Obliques engaged, hips up, pushing into the ground through my shoulder, point, uh, pointing my toes straight ahead, and 15 reps. Two, three, four, Five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Oh boy, that glute burn. Woo! Nicely done, you guys. For our final exercise, which is going to be another variation of hip adductions, what we're going to do to make it more challenging is hold the contraction at the top for a three count. So our goal is to complete 12 repetitions holding our leg up for a three count. So it's not three seconds, one, two, three, but a three count. So one, two, three, a little bit faster. All right, we're going to start in our side laying position again. Bring the top leg in front, grab a hold of it, raise your bottom leg up, one, two, three, back down, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, that's four, one, two, three, five, one, two, three, six, one, two, three, seven, one, two, three, eight, one, two, three, nine, one, two, three, ten, one, two, three, eleven, and one, two, three, twelve. Other side, almost done guys. I can smell the finish line. All right, side leg position, top leg in front, bottom leg straight, toes pointed forward, hold for three seconds. One, two, three. A three count, not three seconds, apologies. Two, three, two, two, three, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, five. One, two, three, six. One, two, three, seven. One, two, three, eight. One, two, three, nine. One, two, three, ten. Almost there. Two, three, eleven. And last rep. Two, three, twelve. All right. Excellent job, ninjas. Now, like I mentioned at the beginning, you can go ahead and restart the whole video and skip the, the warm-up since you're already, already should be pretty warm and either, either do both of those sets one more time each or pick one uh, and do it two more times for a total of three to four sets, ideally. All right, Whew. now I'm gonna need a quick water break. And we're going to be shooting another workout for you guys soon. So keep your eyes out on our Skyhook YouTube. We are uploading classes, workouts, all kinds of fun things for you guys to follow along with, and, uh, as well as some challenges for you to try at home. Now make sure you guys are following strict social distancing guidelines, staying nice and healthy, so that as soon as this whole thing blows over, we can see you all again back at the gym. Miss you all dearly. Hope you got a good workout. Peace out.